All right, let me tell you a couple jokes. Okay. And then we're going we're gonna to laugh a little bit, and then we're going to um, uh, say why this stuff is dangerous. Okay. All right. When a man opens the car door for his wife, you can be sure of one thing. Probably two things, but do you know what that is? When a man opens the door for his wife, wife. you could be assured of something. Of something. Well, I guess the only thing you can be assured of is she's going to be a happy woman. According to this, either the car is new or the wife is new. <laughs> yeah, makes a lot of sense. <laughs> okay, what's the difference between a woman's argument and a knife? They're both sharp? No, the knife has a point. <laughs> Yeah, uh, all right. The average woman would rather have uh, beauty than brains because the average man can see better than he can think. That be oh, a, that's a good one. That's yeah. a blow, huh? Oh, yeah. That that that'd be for men. Yeah, that means that woman could take advantage of them. Yeah. 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 Well, I don't know. yeah, something. Uh -huh. All right, check out this one. When can woman make a man a millionaire? When can a woman make a man a millionaire? I have no idea. When the man is a billionaire. <laughs> she's going to take some of that money, huh? <laughs> My Nana's laughing, but she's shaking her head over there. She's gonna uh, take some of it. Check this out. Um, why are dumb blonde jokes only one-liners? Because they're no-brainers. <laughs> No, um, because that's all a man can remember. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> hey, so uh, I have another joke, but we're just going to we're just going to cloud it up this way. Um, so, what do these kind of jokes that men and women make about each other? Uh, what does it paint about us? Um, I think it's humor uh, in in replacing anger and hatred and fighting and everything like that we need humor to kind of relieve from stress so i think it's like a stress reliever we do need that yeah i think it's a stress reliever but it's it's interesting how you said that um it's to replace hate and stuff and things like that and just aggression maybe yeah. it's kind um, of like when a comedian says you know i i do stand-up comedy you know to make people happy to keep them away from their daily worries and you know thinking about stressful things you know give them a laugh and stuff yeah yeah mm -hmm. I, and i think because the pressure on us in our identity is so strong that we release these kind of jokes in order to be relieved and we laugh sometimes in truth because there's a percentage of it that is true right yep yeah i agree all right. So, um, you against the feminist culture uh, movement, or you uh, you like where the country's going in that movement? No, nope, I'm against it. I don't like the way it's going. Uh, you think it's going to hurt us in the long run? Uh, well, there may be changes because in in well, I don't want to get too deep into it, but uh, within mankind, and as long as we've been on Earth from the little studies and research that I've done in the past, uh, things evolve and they can evolve kind of backwards and there's twists to things. In other words, what I'm trying to say is, you know, just because it's heading that way doesn't mean it's gonna be infinite and that's the way it's gonna be forever. There's always change and it can easily change from that to something else, so it's kind of unpredictable. It's like when a person um, is doing so good and, um, or like when a, when say like say like this say like a drug dealer mm -hmm. is um doing so uh good in his drug business mm -hmm. that he has all the fancy cars and all these things and then he falls flat on his face he goes to prison he loses everything exactly yeah. okay do you think america's gonna fall flat on its face from this uh feminist movement and have to rebuild in that in that area or that category, yes, I think it is. So it's gonna it's gonna grow, it's gonna do if, good, if, if and it's Rome, gonna fall. If, if Rome fell on his face flat altogether in every category, this one definitely is gonna fall flat on his face. 
Bang, there it is. This is a Minutes with God Community Network interview. I'm here with my uncle, and we just wanted to have a good time. God bless you. Comment below what you think, what what your thoughts are, and uh, just keep it real. Take care. Is you spending minutes with God, or is you wasting precious time? We in the last minutes praying, so it's time to change our minds. Time to hit the community network with some Christ-like minds. Then we hit the block like Ricky Lopez, changing lost minds. Ain't been thinking about how to shine. Ain't no get rich or die trying. These young cats really dying. Mother's heartbroken and they crying. So we got.